Yeah, Ms. Sanders is the next speaker. And after that, it'll be Rick Melton. But four minutes. I'm ready when you are. Okay, my name's Laura Sanders. I live at 2153 Blue Ridge Cove, Memphis, Tennessee, 38134. Some of you may recognize my name from the emails and correspondence that we've had. Mr. Harris, Ms. Bully Love, Ms. Halbert, I thank you so much for coming out and supporting us and showing that you do care. You do have a heart. Since Mr. Ford isn't here, I'm going to speak and hopefully he will understand what I'm trying to say to him. You see, last week there was an email correspondence between myself and Dr. Ford, and he addressed me and said, he uses words that a lot, I will quote, I use a lot of words that people have to look up. I'm here to tell you guys, every single one of you, that not one of you got on this council member without these people's votes. Whether we are uneducated or whatever you can conceive we are, aren't you supposed to be able to relate to us on a certain level? Aren't you supposed to understand what we're going through? But the fact that someone can say, I use big words, we all came prepared with dictionaries for Mr. Ford today, but since he left, we'll let him go. Mr. Flynn, my next one's at you. <laughs> you stated that you could not personally uh, do, a, do a tax increase. It's not something that you could afford. Mr. Flynn, did you attend Memphis University School? You did. Right now in 2014, the tuition is $19,500 a year. Did you attend Rhodes University? You did. It's $41,000 a year to go to school. Do you work for Flynn Broadcasting, the company that your father owns? He's worth an estimated 15 to $20 million. I assure you, sir, you could afford a tax increase if it paid for our public safety. I'm gonna read you an email that I received from someone that chooses to remain anonymous. Mrs. Sanders, you do not know me, but I certainly know you, and my words will never be enough to thank you for what you are pushing people to do. My husband gave 32 years of his life to the Memphis Fire Department, and he still speaks of those days as if they were his glory days. Those were the best years of his life. It was, it was a love, even as a wife of too many years to name, I don't fully understand. He made an honest living, and he truly provided for our family. I was at the rally on Tuesday. In fact, I think we briefly spoke. But you see, my husband was unable to attend the rally. Just two short years into his retirement, we received the most devastating news of our lives. He was diagnosed with cancer. Being the fighter he is, he has fought this ugly disease day in and day out. But I'm sad to say that now the disease has him homebound. My heroic and our as husband, who lived by the motto, first in, last out, is unable to leave bed without assistance. He is still fighting, but we know his days with Jesus are far closer than we choose to accept. When we received the news about the health care premium for retirees, we literally dropped to our knees in disbelief. The new premiums we can't afford, and I don't mean we can't afford as in we would have to give up luxuries. I mean we don't bring in enough each month to cover the new premiums. So we decided we would just get health care on our own, and that's where we were sadly mistaken. I have literally called over 15 insurance companies, and they've all had the same response. I'm sorry, Miss Blank. Your husband has a pre-medical condition and does not qualify for health care coverage within our company. I literally have no choice but to sell our home, the home he built with his two hands, and move in order to afford these new premiums. Our home is paid for, therefore that is our only option. Rest assured I will do whatever it takes to get that one extra day with him, although he is stubborn and tells me his ideas are absurd. I do not wish to disclose my name, as I know he has entirely too much pride and would not want the empathy of others. But if, you ev but if ever in this battle you were fighting, you feel discouraged or quitting, just remember you are paying, playing a tremendously huge part in helping me fight for my husband's life. I challenge you to remember those kind of people and remember that some of you can't afford certain things that other people take for granted. And you are taking this for granted right now. And there's people sending us these emails, and that's why we're out here every single week. And guess what, guys? I'm 28. I'm not going anywhere. Get used to my face. Thank you, Ms. Sanders. 